All right, so what's going on with the Bitcoin scam week and what's going on with the Jerome Powell Jackson Hole conference? Let's talk about it. Well, first of all, let's do a quick summary of what's just happened. Well, the Jerome Powell Jackson Hole conference has just come out. It came out on the hour about 40 minutes ago. I was sharing this over on my Twitter uh, on what was happening. What did Powell say in his five minute conference? He basically said he's still hawkish. He's looking to lower inflation. He's looking to raise interest rates. He specifically said uh, the Fed is looking to target their 2% inflation goal. We're currently at 8.5%. So uh, if this is true, there's going to be a lot more interest rate hikes coming to bring us back down to that 2% inflation. This is very negative news for the traditional markets. This is negative for Bitcoin. This is bullish for the dollar. Uh, he also said the inflation outlook is unchanged and another interest rate hike is likely in September. There's no confirmation on that right now. Obviously, they'll never confirm something like that. But that is the summary of what happened with the power conference now this brought a lot of volatility into the market before we do talk about that once again i am going to leave the link down to this uh, bloomberg post uh, where you can look at the entire five to eight minute conference yourself if you are interested in everything he said but those were the main details that i went through to you uh, in my opinion the scam wick is done let's now send bitcoin back down to twenty thousand. so if you watch my previous video the bitcoin huge warning i talked about all my ta and what i'm currently expecting in the market it's in this video. Uh, nothing has changed in that video, but just a quick update on the scam wick in the past hour. You can see if we come over to the four hourly chart to start with, look at this scam wick. Uh, I was previously talking about a path. We were somewhere around about here when I recorded my video. We predicted the dump uh, and we also predicted the pump, but I did not obviously expect that we were going to come all the way almost up to the top of the channel. So we definitely overshot this by about $400 or so. Uh, but with that being said, if we come down to the one hourly time frame, uh, nothing has changed my perspective is still that we are going to be breaking down i'll realign uh, the path in which i think we're going to tread down soon but you can see this was when the conference started and if we come down to the five minute time frame uh you can see right here getting rid of this boom this is when it started you know, within the first minute or so, it was very clear that he was hawkish and nothing had changed. We completely dumped into this. We came back down to support. We pumped back up and we absolutely nuked after the conference was done. You know, we started pumping towards the end of it and then we absolutely just nuked after it. So uh, that is all she wrote. If we look at what's going on in the stock market on the daily time frame, the stock market absolutely nuked when this came out. You can see uh, this also broke down, pumped back up and absolutely got nuked after this. So uh, like I've been saying, my friends, not looking too good for the SPY, not looking too good for the SPX. And I will once again say that I have been predicting this for the past two weeks, uh, where we have been looking at this SPX fractal. So all in all, my outlook is unchanged. My my TA in the past couple of days has been quite extensive, so I won't do a deep dive into what's going on now. But just to wrap up the video, like I said, this was previously what we were predicting. We nailed the dump to the downside. We definitely exceeded the pump by a couple of hundred dollars. So from where we are now, you know, something like this. I mean, I really don't even need to adjust this. I really think a little bit more chop for the next couple of days. Like I said in my previous video, I don't think we're going to be breaking down today maybe on Monday. But let's see how this plays out. The trail down to the 1.618 Fib is all the way down to 20,000. That's all I've got for you today, my friends. Keep your eyes on 21,000. If we do break beneath this and have a daily candle body close, uh, we're going to get nuked even harder than we did on this scam wick thanks to Jerome Powell. So uh, that's basically all I've got. Also, bear in mind, our next FOMC meeting is 26 days away. Uh, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange Group is once again predicting another 100% likelihood of an interest rate hike. Uh, uh, these guys are always, always pretty much on the dollar. Like I always say, if you're a veteran of the channel, you would have seen me pull these up before. And we've used these in our own analysis to predict these interest rate hikes. And so far, we've pretty much nailed it. So all I've got for you today, my friends, as always, cowboy out. Peace.